Yo guys, what's going on? It's Tom for two here, or Chessman on Lost Dark. Um, today, I want to do an exclusive video on just my artists. Um, I think it's one of the last characters I have on my top six of my roster in Lost Dark um, that I have yet to talk about, and um, you know, talk about my own build, uh, some of the playstyle things I've noticed, um, and we'll just go through the skills and the things that I do with it. So. Remember, before diving into this video, just subscribe. Um, you know, it helps a lot. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, Artist. I play all three supports. Paladin's my main, Bard is my secondary. Artist is my last kind of class that I or always bring up last to the newest content. Uh, out of all the supports, so I like Paladin the most, but Artist is probably the next easiest for me to play, and then it's Bard. Bard is generally pretty hard for me, but um, Artist is it's kind of I think it's pretty easy to play. Um, it's got a it's got a lot of push immune skills, marking skills, super easy to use, and it provides a lot of shielding. Um, you only need two two of these bubbles, the harmony meter. You only need two of them to cast a damage buff. You only need to see one for uh, giving HP. Um, it's got pretty good movements, um, it's dashes, and all the uh, animations are pretty clean. So, aesthetically, you know, it's pretty pretty good. Um, provides excellent stagger for, um, you know, stagger checks in bosses. Um, and has no issues, you know, doing anything else. So, let's dive right in. Um, right now, um... If you guys watch my, uh, you know, roster video, I don't know if I'll post this or my roster video update uh, first. But right now, um, I only have 30 Transcendence Flowers on my Artist. Um, I only recently brought it up to 1620, got a 40 set on it. Um, but right now, just 30, set, 30 Flowers of Transcendence, and that's 6 uh, flowers per armor piece. I have not even touched my weapon yet because I haven't run Behemoth. But this is the only character I haven't run Behemoth on it. But elixir-wise, I've got 40 set. Um, I could just kind of go through each armor piece. Uh, so I've got MP and Luminary Order, 4-4. Uh, four, four. On my shoulder, I've got Explosive Expert and Healing Enhancement, 5-5. Five, five. On my chest, I've got Explosive Expert, 4, Max HP, 3. Um, on my pants, I've got Stagger, 3, Ally Enhancement, 5. And then uh, on my glove i've got luminary five uh potion on two so that's 40 set and i think that's like the minimum you need in order to play all the new content right no one's gonna accept 35 set anymore and given the fact that um ags has given us plenty of silver rolling elixirs and lots of elixir nerfs uh, especially when rolling them now you could select the last effect it's super easy to get your 40 set as long as you have you know the gold to to do it so those are my elixirs that's my transcendence um right now i'm still rocking relic accessories on it eventually when tier 4 comes out i'll probably look to get um kind of the tier 4 accessories but until then you know everyone's going to be taking a support um i don't think i really have issues getting in the lobbies unless like we're literally having a population issue in lost dark where there's not enough dps anymore either um Still my skin, I'm just using the second anniversary uh, Providence headwear. I don't use the glasses. I'll use the mask, but then I'll use the Illusion Essence chest piece. So that's the skin that I'm rocking. I haven't paid too much attention to my artist, uh, like the skin that she uses. So it's just kind of what I use. Um, if you have any good artists or artist skins, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, engraving wise, I use Vital Point Hit, Awakening, Heavy Armor, Expert, and Full Bloom, Full move, full uh, Movement Speed Reduction, uh, just a negative effect. Um, I could be using the Engraving Support. I know a lot of you guys are going to mention that, but I'm just too lazy to collect, you know, good Swiftness quality accessories. Like, you know, just too lazy to find them, slap them on, and then switch over. So there's that. Gems, I've got full sevens. Um, I think it's serviceable. It's pretty much all the skills that I use. CDs, 
and then just a couple of damage ones just for like chaos dungeons that that I use. Uh, card set, pretty much every support you're gonna want to use Lost Wind Cliff, uh, thirty. So it's as simple as that. Uh, let's go into my skills now. So skills, uh, I do have a chaos build and a um, I guess main support build. Of course, you want to use Yearning set uh, for uh, supports. For Chaos, I just toggle over. Um, I use Engraving support for this, but I do have uh, Betrayal set on my Chaos build. And I think, at least for Chaos build, I use Full Bloom, I use Preemptive Strike, Mass Increase, Keen, and Raid Captain. So those are kind of the main ones. And then, of course, you want to switch over your card set to... Um, LOS 30 or Light of Salvation 30. Let's just talk about my support build first. So support build, I use these skills. I use Stroke uh, Sprinkle, uh, Paint Drawing Orchids, Stroke Hopper, Paint Illusion Door, Paint Pouncing Tiger, uh, Stroke Upward Stroke, Paint Sunwell, and uh, Paint Sun Sketch. Uh, what I'm mostly going for is lots of shielding, stagger support. Again, kind of the play style that I'm usually conventionally known for which is utility making sure we pass the mechs so stroke sprinkle let's start with this skill i use an overwhelm rune on it tripod wise i go one 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 uh this is a good shield skill and you you just cast it between uh your allies your allies should just need to be between you and the boss if you hit it towards the boss they'll get a shield as well uh, i slap an overwhelm rune just because it gives me extra stagger uh, drawing Orchids, this is going to be your marking skill, um, so you want to just hover, make, mark it over the boss. I go 3-3-1 three, three, for the tripods, and I slap a Gale Wind, Legendary Gale Wind. Uh, I forgot to mention, both of those have 12 points uh, skill level. Uh, I use Hopper next. Uh, I have an over or a Wealth Rune on it. The tripods I use are 1-1-1. One, one, one. This is a good meter gain skill. Um, just to generate your bubbles. Uh, Illusion Door. This is like a good. This is my like cleanse skill. You TP your allies if they're far away and they're non-swiftness. Um, the tripods I use for it are two, 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 and it's a good purify. Um, it's really good utility depending on how you use it. And I, there's so many different scenarios you could use it for uh, that I just mentioned. You could TP people. You could cleanse people. Uh, from darkness or any you know other status effects that they might be having if they're stunned, um, and you could always just use it to generate meter for your damage buff. I also use Pouncing Tiger. Uh, right now it's just seven skill points, but I go to two for the tripods, and of course I use a Overwhelm Rune. Um, also forgot Illusion Door. I use a quick recharge rune, but Pouncing Tiger is pretty much just strictly. Um, Use for stagger. Uh, upward stroke. This is the counter skill that I use. Uh, level 10 uh, skill points. Use a legendary gale wind. Uh, my tripods are 2, 3, 2. Um, it does a double cast too when you do it. So, you know, you can cast it a little bit early if you know the counter timings, and it would definitely hit on the second stroke as well. Uh, Sunwell. This is one of your damage buff skills. Um, the tripods I use are 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, it's got 12 skill points to it, and I've got a wealth rune um, on it. So generally, the skill you want to just use, you know, place it on your allies, and if they're staying in it, um, they regain mana, and they also um, gain additional attack power, or attack buff. Uh, the last skill I use is Sun Sketch. I have a uh, focus rune on it, 12 skill level points on it. Uh, my tripods are 1, 2, 1. Um, again, this is just the other um, attack power buff that I use, and it also does a DR. So for like Echidna, normal, and hard mode, uh, I only run normal on my artist. But uh, for Flytrap, you want to be able to cast this right before you get consumed by the Flytrap, uh, just so that you, you don't die pretty much and i don't use crisis evasion so i need to make sure i actually cast this and save it so those are my skills 
Um, I'll show off my Chaos build as well. I use Pouncing Tiger, Crane Wing, I use Hopper, I use One Stroke, Starry Knight, and Inklo. So it's a, it's a bit of a different uh, layout. I'm not going to go into deep detail about them. You could probably just find on Max Roll like a Chaos build or something. But I'll just go through it really quickly. Pouncing Tiger, Tripods, you want 2-2-1. Two, two, uh, or 2-2-2, two, 2-2-1. Two, 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 Crane Wing, this is your main skill. You want Gale Wind on it at least. It's going to be 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, Hopper, I use 3-2-1 with Gale Wind on it as well. Um, I use 1 Stroke, 10 Points. Uh, tripods are 2-3-1. Uh, Starry Knight, uh, I use a Bleed Rune. Uh, tripods are 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, Inkwell, I use a Gale Wind on it. I go Tripods 2, 3, 1. Sunwell, I go um, a Focus Rune. I go 2, 3, 2. And then Sun Sketch, uh, again, another Focus Rune. Um, you could go 2, 3, 1. So that's just what I do. You could take a screenshot of this if you want. Um, and of course, you want a Rock Betrayal set as well. Um, so yeah, that's my um artist skill level or um or my uh setup let's go into trixion and just do like a little uh you know skill rotation what i recommend so uh i won't put the all right here where's the dummy let's go boss all right so first thing you want to do at least what i do personally on my artist it's all about using your generating meter or your harmony meter and uh, maintaining your marking skill and maintaining good uptime between sunwell and sun sketch so you don't want to ever cast sunwell and sun sketch at the same time um but you want to always cast your marking skill the marking skill as soon as you mark it it's usually on for about uh, you know you have a good chunk of time 11 to you know 12 seconds so the CD is pretty generous. Uh, you'll have time after it even comes off cooldown to reposition and cast again. So you have a little bit of time uh, leeway to do it. You want to always cast a uh, Harper for additional meter gain. Um, and as I said, Sprinkle and Pouncing Tiger are kind of your main stagger skills. Um, and you can use Illusion Door to also generate meter. So generally, before a raid starts, I'll have bubbles. What I'll do is I usually cast my... Um, my Orchids, then my Sun Sketch, then I'll do like a damage buff. I'll wait until this first the the Sun Sketch damage buff turns off before I catch I cast uh, Sunwell. In between, I might cast you know Illusion Door just for extra meter. I'll hop around uh, the boss on my allies to give them shields, and then by the time um, the uh, marking skill expires, you want to recast it again. So the most, I kind of just mentioned a lot of stuff there, but if you weren't paying attention, the most important thing is just uptime of your marking skill. Make sure you do not overlap your Sunwell and your Sun Sketch at the same time. Always rotate, alternate them one after the other, especially Sunwell for mana hungry uh, classes. And you could always throw out a Sprinkle, uh, Pouncing Tiger, or Illusion Door, and Hopper for additional shielding and cleansing for your allies as you see fit in the raid. So there is no really like one specific way or order to use the skills, especially because I don't use Conviction Judgment. Um, my Bard and my Paladin use Conviction Judgment just for resource regen, but I never really have mana issues um, on my on my artist. Um, I do want a bracelet that does ha have MP recovery, but right now I don't. I just have Intelligence, Emergency Transfusion, Circulate, and revival and some crit so it's a pretty trash uh, bracelet um but yeah i'm just gonna go right into a rotation just watch it and see if you pick up on it so marking skill damage buff generate meter shield maybe shield my ally some more damage buff and if they're standing here i'm gonna use sunwell right you can always cast skills again wait until the damage buff decreases and it, it expires then you use the other one um and I'm going to hop around again. You're pretty flexible to just use your skills as you see fit.
So yeah, I think it's really good. Um, you know, it happens pretty fast, and you can always just use your damage skills whenever you need to. Um, or dam damage buffs, not damage skills. Uh, just make sure that you try to alternate between Sunwell and um, Sun Sketch as much as possible. And then of course you have your Awakening that will automatically generate two bubbles that then you use um, at will. So I generally use the Awakening, you know, if I'm down like a lot of meter and I know that the mech, the boss is going to, um, you know, be staggered or it's going to have a big damage window for your boys. So, just if you just want two quick bubbles uh, for damage increase, then you, I would do that. Use the Awakening there and just pop the damage increase. If your party is struggling uh, on like HP, like taking a lot of hits, definitely Awaken. Um, and then you could always drop um, the health orbs like this. I generally drop the health orbs around the, um, the person who is um, like near near death, I guess, the closest to death, so, um, you know, if I know that they're a range unit, I'll drop it further away from the boss. If they're a melee unit, I'll drop it towards the boss, but any time you drop an orb too, it will actually heal your ally, so important thing to note. Uh, so that's kind of all the play style tips that I really have. Um, you guys saw my build, you guys saw kind of the different rotation I have, um, and the things that I at least always keep in mind when I'm um, playing on my artist, so that's all I really want to talk about. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is my last character in the top six. Um, and just let me know if you guys want to see any updated versions of the other classes that I play. Um, all of them are going to need updates once tier four hits. But, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.